from the Bullseye. Expert advice is sponsored by attorney Michael the Bull Lamonsaw. For the most part, an injury-free workplace just does not exist. No, it doesn't. And some jobs put you more at risk for injuries than others, like construction sites. And accidents that result in injuries are on the rise. Joining us with some expert advice is attorney Michael the Bull Lamonsoff. Welcome to the show, Michael. Well, thanks for having me. Can we talk about your nickname, The Bull? No. <laughs> <laughs> sure you can. Where does it come from? Well, I've always been called The Bull. As a kid, I would protect the other kids who were being bullied by, by bullies. Yeah. Um, so if there was a problem and, and uh, um, somebody that I knew was being bullied, I would knock that kid down. You knock them down, the that's bull right. Down. The, right, the bully I got down. you. And then you okay. became an adult? Later then, on as an yeah. adult, when I became an attorney, um, my clients started to call me the bull. And they would see me in court, and suddenly I would get a gift at the end of the case, and there'd be a bull at my at the, my front door. I have bulls all around the world. Yeah. From, from the Caribbean on wow. to India to Pakistan to even China. Well now I know why you're called the bull. That's it. <laughs> oh and I with, love that. And with reason. I love That's that so great. much. Well they see the aggressive, you know, the aggressive side of me right, and of the course. fact that I, I am relentless in, in fighting for their rights. Right. Of course. Good for you. Good for you. So we also noticed a large section on your website. It's called the Bulls Millionaires Club. Tell yeah. us about that. I love that club. <laughs> that club really is uh, a club for my clients yeah. who, because of the severity of their injuries and the cases that they had, I made them millions of dollars. So they became millionaires. Yeah. So hence, they've joined the Millionaires Club. Mm -hmm. Now we have lots and lots of people in the Millionaires Club. The last one, I think I made somebody $37 million on a Ooh. case. Now, that amount of money is a lot of money, but it'll never replace what that person lost and the amounts of money that I make these people, because everybody says to me, wow, you make these people a lot of money, mm -hmm. but it will never replace what happened to them, whether they were sexually assaulted or involved in a construction accident and, and very badly injured. Mm -hmm. That money is great, gives them some justice, but will never replace what they lost. Right, of course. So, of course. So why do the majority of the highest awards in your club involve construction workers? Sure, good question. Um, New York, used to be a place 30, 40 years ago where construction workers um, who were already in a very hazardous job mm -hmm. were being hurt by the thousands. Mm -hmm. And they were falling from scaffolds, it was falling from ladders, mm -hmm. um, and they were breaking legs. The only remedy they had at that time, 40 years ago, was workers' compensation. Uh -huh. Now we all know workers' compensation is not gonna be a good remedy for a, a carpenter, a union yeah. carpenter, for example, who makes $150,000 a year. It's not going to be. But what would happen is, because the sites were so unsafe, they still were getting hurt by the thousands, and the bosses and the owners and the um, developers of the land of where they were working um, would just say, next, bring on the next worker. Mm, wow. So, so many people were being hurt that the state legislature got together and they said, you know what, let's pass a law saying that workers' compensation is a remedy, is one of the remedies, but they also have another remedy. You're, they can choose a lawyer, mm -hmm. perhaps an amazingly great lawyer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bull. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm pointing to myself yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. They can collect the workers' compensation, right. but at the same time, that great lawyer can sue the owners and developers of the land that they were working on. Wow. And the idea was that it would keep the construction sites safe, but it hasn't worked that way. So why hasn't it worked? Because the landowners and developers have simply chosen speed over safety, mm -hmm. hired people that are not correct for the jobs that they're given, mm -hmm. and have made work sites even more dangerous. Mm. After practicing law for 27 years, what drives you? The same thing that drove me to be a great athlete, the same thing that drove me to be a decent boxer and a good uh, kickboxer, I love to win. I love to win. I hate to lose. <laughs> and so my clients see that and they love me for it. And there's nothing better to me than giving them some form of justice by handing them a multi-million dollar check. It doesn't have to be a multi-million dollar check, but handing them a check and saying, look, I know this is not going to give you complete justice, but you got some justice here. Well, we thank you so much for being here today. And we want to let our viewers know Michael the Bull will be giving expert advice every month right here 
on New York Living. So if you'd like to connect with attorney Michael Lamonsoff, now head to michaelthebull.com.